Hello guys, welcome back. Hey guys. Hey, let me know if you can hear me. Hola, yes. teacher. Hello, Buenas. Alpha. Good evening, Alpha. Good to see you. Okay, welcome back, guys. Hope you're okay. Let's go over the lesson, right? Okay, let's have a review of what we have been studying. Okay, what can you tell me? Uh, let's see, Mario, hello, good evening. What can you tell me about the topics that we have been studying? Mario, tell me. Vamos a hacer un review, right? Lo que hemos estudiado. Okay, you tell me what do you like remember of what we have been studying? Mm -hmm. Hey, Mario. Uh, uh, it's the topic. It's topic. Mm -hmm. um, per, 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 present perfect. Yes, right. Present perfect. Okay. Thank you, Mario. Okay, Joelman. What can you tell me about the present for perfect? What is the structure? What is the structure? The structure. Hmm. Joelman. Hola. Este. Uh, um, the, uh, present perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, la estructura. La estructura, yes. Uh, uh, verb. Um, okay, primero el subject, right? El subject. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. okay. El subject. Mm -hmm. el, el, el verbo have, que sería el... El auxiliar have. Yes, have. Has. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Y un verbo, verb in past participle. That's right. El verbo in past participle. participle. Muy bien. Esa es la estructura general, right? Cuando uh -huh. estamos en oraciones afirmativas, affirmative sentences. Ok, perfect, Joel Mann. Okay, as an example, we can say I have started right for this. Okay, so that is an example of the present perfect chat box. Okay, Jonathan, sí, creo que también donde Jolman it's training right on that. Any comment you have, you can write it in the chat box in case you can't hear me or in case you can get your microphone too. Okay, let's go to the task, right? Remember that yesterday we had this task, right? You have to create sentences. Sentences using the present perfect. Okay, vamos a hacerlas. And if you have questions, you can... Uh, tell me. Okay, we okay. We have the example here. So, what could be the second one? See, Gloria, can you help me with the second one, Gloria? Hola, hola. Hello, Gloria. Are you there? No, no, está, Gloria. Okay. So, can you help me, uh, Alpha, with the second one? Hello, somebody there? Is Alpha? No? Okay, there you are. El, el B. Yes, letter B, please. Sería the student. Mm -hmm. The have. students have. Uh, have lived. Left. Maybe left. The class. Okay. Nosotros, we did this one yesterday, right? Okay, can you help me with number three? Let's do number three, Alpha. Uh, sería, uh, the exams. Mm -hmm. The exams. Finish. Have finished. 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 That's right. Okay, let's see. Thank you, Alpha. Let's see the next one. Let's see. Can you help me? 
uh, Jonathan. Are you there, Jonathan? Hello. Está Jonathan, are you there? No. Okay, Alpha. Yes, sure, Alpha. Go ahead. Sí. Mm -hmm. Danny has mm -hmm. broken his leg. Yes, right. Danny has broken his leg. That's right. And uh, can you help me with the second one, Alpha? I have. Mm -hmm. I have sent your email. Yes, I have sent you an email. An email. Okay, let's do the say the next one. Letter F. She has, has mm -hmm. seen seen this film before. Before, that's right. Okay, and the next one, let's do it. Dave, Dave mm -hmm. and Joe mm -hmm. uh, have, mm -hmm. have, have. Yeah, have, ¿verdad? Porque son have. dos. Cuando es en plural, they are two. Mm -hmm. eh, we, ese sí no sé cuál es el... El past participle de win. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. Ok, aquí se los voy a decir. Tenemos que es el win, es el presente, ¿verdad? El pasado sería won. And the past participle, it is won. Mm -hmm. The past participle, it is won. Okay, so we have Dave and Joe have won. won. A o a scholarship. Una beca, right? Have won a scholarship. Okay, then you have, right? Let's do the letter H. There be. There been. Mm -hmm. Veamos. There have been. Podemos decir there have been. Eh, eh, uh, an accident. In this case, porque solo estamos hablando de un objeto, es una cosa, right? Entonces, vamos a utilizar el has. There has been an accident. Mm -hmm. okay. That is the form. Okay, questions about that exercise? Mm -hmm. No questions? No. no. Okay, good. So we're going to try to have some negatives. We're not going to do them all, right? Because it is a little bit just for reviewing. Okay, vamos a hacer un review de las negativas, right? Recordemos que para las negativas podemos utilizar en la forma contractada que sería have been o la forma larga have not. En el caso que estemos with he, she, and it, sería hasn't, short, or has not. Okay, vamos a escribir these sentences in negative. No todas, right? Some of them. Let's see number two. It says the students have left. ¿Cómo nos quedaría en negativa? In negative. Mm -hmm. The students. The student. Mm -hmm. The student haven't. 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 That's right. The students finished, right? Or no, no, no. The students haven't the student left. Left. left the class. The class. The class. This is the form negative. No and. Dejado, no sé. Ok, let's do, hagamos la letter D. Dani. O me quedaría in negative. Dani. Hasn't. Hasn't, that's right. Hasn't. Broken. broken is left. Ok, we're pretty good with the negatives. And the last one, but not least. 
the questions, right? Recordemos las preguntas are important to do. Okay, vamos a hacerlas. Sí, tenemos acá, we have to order, right? Tenemos que ordenarlas. Okay, ¿qué es lo primero que debo describir en el caso que tengo una pregunta? What is the first thing that I have to write? ¿Qué es lo primero? El auxiliar, ok. Sería en este caso letter B. ¿Cuál sería el auxiliar? Today sería. No. As. As, that's right. As. As. Recordemos que para hacer preguntas, have o has at the beginning, right? Ok. Tengo has. Luego, ¿qué iría? Has. Training. Mm. Has it. it. Después As del auxiliar, tengo el sujeto. Sit. Trainer. Train. Train today. Muy bien. Ok. Y podemos decir que yes. Has. Ok. Yes, it. Yes, it. Yes, it yes, has. Yes, it has. Oh, no. Oh, no. It, it has. No. It has, has not or it hasn't, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, entonces, ¿cómo estructura for the questions? ¿Cuál sería la regla? Usar have, has, mm -hmm. más el sujeto, subject, mm -hmm. más el verbo, verb, in, past, participle. Mm -hmm. Y luego le agregamos el complemento, el complemento y por último el question mark. Sujeto, verbo. Uh -huh. To create questions, es para crear las questions. Ok, let's do one more para que practiquemos. Let's do one more. Letter C, ¿qué sería lo primero? What is the first thing, the first um, that I have? Uh, do I uh, have... Uh, Okay. What is the auxiliary? ¿Cuál sería el auxiliar en esta hora? Uh, Letter C. Don. Uh -huh. Done. Ok. Recordemos la estructura. Have o has al has. principio. Have. Uh -huh. Has. Mm, ¿Hay algún has por acá? Have. Uh, ok. Have. Have. Uh -huh. Ya tengo have. Luego, ¿qué iría? El sujeto. Have you. Uh, that's right. Have you. And then. You. Uh -huh. El verbo, sujeto, verbo. Don. 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 Uh -huh. Y luego tenemos el complemento. Antes. Have you done? Eh, Exercias. This. This. Uh -huh. This. Exercise. Exercise. Before. Before. Ok. ¿Has hecho este ejercicio antes? Have you done this exercise before? Puede ser que sí. Yes, I have. I have. Oh. Oh. No, 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 I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. haven't. Yes, haven't. No, I haven't. Recordemos que estos... Son para que se los voy a escribir. El have. Vamos a utilizarlo con I, you, we, they. Y el has. Y she and me. Tercera persona. Right. Ok. What about one more? Okay, letter D, it's, it, it, it is interesting, letter B. Who wants to try letter D? Us. Okay. Us. Okay, primero es has. Yes, has. Us. People. No. Us. Mm -hmm. que has es para he, she, it, ¿verdad? Y people, it's a lot. So it is. And use uh, people, right? So has has life. There you have has, has life. life. 
Uh -huh. Past life. Got. 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 Yes. Got better. Got better. Married. People. Four people. Four people. Ha mejorado, right? Has life got better for people? Mm -hmm. Has life. ¿Y cuál sería la, the answer? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, they. Uh, yes. yes, they. Estamos hablando de la life, ¿verdad? Life. Life. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, it. It has. Yes, it has. No, it hasn't. Ah. There you have, guys. Okay, questions, guys, about this part? Questions? Okay, so I want you to write one question using the present perfect in the chat box. Vamos a escribir una pregunta utilizando el present perfect in the chat box, okay? Let's write it. This is for you to practice, right? Okay, one sentence. Escribamos una oración en el chat box. Ya vimos la estructura. Una pregunta, sorry. Question. Write a question. Una pregunta. Yes, write a question using the present. Perfect. Una pregunta con has. Or have también. Has or have. Cualquiera. It's good. Okay, for example, have you ever been to Italy? Have you ever been in Italy? It's a question, right? Okay, tratemos de utilizar otros verbos, right? You have some of them. Here we go. Let's write an example, okay? Okay, let's see. Okay, no one has written the question. Oh, Yolman. Okay, that's a good one. Yolman, have you gone to the park? I will answer that question and I will say no. I haven't. I haven't been there today. Okay, another question, guys. Let's see. He, um, okay, Mario, vamos a hacer esa pregunta otra vez. Recordemos que para que sea pregunta, tiene que ir el has al principio. Así que oh, volvamos a escribir. Me. ¿Ok, Mario? Yes, ok. Ok, perfect. Has he gone to the gym, right? Has he gone to the gym? Ok, it says al. Have you finished? I do. <laughs> mm. Tenemos que agregar, right? Tenemos, we have to add ED. Have you finished your finished. studies? Mm -hmm. Okay, Mario. Perfect. Excelente, Mario. Perfect, Mario. Perfect your sentences. Let's see. Perfect, Mario. Okay. Okay, let's change yours, Alpha, and the others. ¿Qué pasó con los demás? Okay. okay let's see. Let's see. 
Perf Morena, has she called home lately? Okay, that's perfect, Morena. Excellent sentence. Okay, very good one. Teacher, eso sí me está costando un montón. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué, cuál, es su, ¿Cuál sería su duda, Alfa? ¿Qué es lo que...? No me cuesta pensar en inglés. <laughs> okay, that takes time. That is mostly when you practice. Yo les aconsejaría que... For example, your cell phone. Cambiémoslo en inglés, right? You can inglés? start con pequeñas cosas, but little by little, right? Y si ustedes conocen a alguien que, que pues, viva en, ya sea en Estados Unidos o en otro país, para que puedan practicar con esas personas también. Have you seen the new movie? Muy bien, Adonías. Perfect, Jorgen. O si no, también hay muchas aplicaciones donde ustedes pueden practicar a lot, right? And at this time you have, you can even practice. Remember that sometimes we speak Spanish a lot, but try to speak in English. Okay, very good, uh, Anias. That's a good sentence. Okay, and no more questions, guys. If you want me to, to reinforce this topic, Perfect, Mario. No sé si queramos hacer algún refuerzo, reinforcement. And you can tell me, teacher, I don't know this. Can you say that? Mm -hmm. No questions? No, no? Oh, yes. Okay. Let the question, teacher. I'm, I'm sorry. Yes, you, you have a question, Mario. Tell me. Or no questions. E complete the question A if G H. Oh, good. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's practice. That's that. That's good, right? Okay, we have E, right? So, how can we create the question? Mm -hmm. That's a good one, right? What? How can we create the question? What is the first thing that have, we have? Have. Mm -hmm. Have. Have. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> or. Tenemos que, we have to look for the subject. Sujeto in that sentence. Have. Temperature. Close, very close, very close, Mario. Have mm -hmm. how the words, right? Mm -hmm. The words temperatures, right? And then in past participle, que sería rising, right? Se han elevado, right? O ha aumentado también mm -hmm. las temperaturas del mundo a nivel global. So we can say yes. 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 Uh -huh. yes Stay it. right. Ah, okay. ¿Por qué? Okay. <laughs> Because it is plural. Oh, no, yes. they haven't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you have. Let's go with letter F. I'm going to write it here, letter F. Oh, that, that's another good one. Mm -hmm. What can be the question in that one? Who wants to try that one, guys? As. Mm -hmm. As. Has oh. has the price of petrol right gone up? Yes, it has. I see. Vamos a decir con yes, it has. <laughs> a lot, a lot. Okay, y las otras se las dejo de tarea, right? 
for user practice and share it in the group. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's move on, right? Let's move on to the next topic. And uh, let me see, can I move the next slide, guys? Puedo pasar a la siguiente, guys? Yes or no? Okay, it means yes to me. Let's continue. So we're gonna have a listening, right? Try to listen and tell me what the conversation is about. Page six, exercise four. Actually, I have. Part A, listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, what is the conversation about, guys? De qué se trató? What is the conversation about? Mm -hmm. Any opinion? Can I repeat it, teacher, please? Okay, one more time. Got it, got it. Let's go. Page six of Part A. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, there you have. Who can tell me what the conversation is about? Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. He was late and uh, she was waiting in the restaurant. Hey, that's good. What else can you tell me, guys? What else? Tell me more. Okay, what about you, Adonias? Um, can you tell me? That's right, that they are waiting in a restaurant, right? About their favorite food. Okay, thank you, Alpha. Okay, let's practice, right? Okay, um, Alpha, do you want to read this section? Can you help me? Can you read this section, Alpha? Okay. Yes, okay, Alpha, you're going to be Mandy. Y no sé si está, let's see. Eh, Me, Joyma. Ah, ok, Gloria, ok, Gloria. Usted va a ser, you are going to be Peter. Ok, let's go. Eh, I am sorry, I am late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Hey, have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. This is good. It's delicious. I, I, I have eat several times. Or oh, how about that food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have a like in Thailand. As a teenager, I had it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you lie there? I lived there for two years. Okay, thank you so much, ladies. I appreciate. Okay, we are going to repeat, for example, this word minutes, right? Minutes. Minutes. 
then we say chosen, chosen, chosen. Then we have uh, the other word, let's see. Oh, lived, lived. For example, well, yo vivo, I live, live, right? I, in el pasado, I lived, lived. Okay, let's see, okay, that's, that's it, right? Okay, let's continue. Well, so which are some examples of uh, the present perfect? ¿Cuáles son algunos ejemplos? What are some examples of the present perfect? Mm -hmm. Who can tell me, guys? Have you been Have here you long? Been yeah, long. right. Have you been here long? Another one. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? yet? That's right. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? Mm -hmm. Have you ever eaten Moroccan yeah, food? Yeah, that's right. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? And uh, uh -huh. this is good. no, I haven't. That's right. The other. Tenemos, tenemos we have more. Have you ever had green curry? Oh, yes. There is another one too, right? Hay otro. There is another one. Tenemos también I've had, right? La forma corta de, de have. I've had. Okay, think we have, uh, oh no, that's it, right? Okay, here we have another one. Okay, good, guys. Good, esos son unos ejemplos del present perfect. Okay, este día vamos a ver Page 60. la diferencia de el presente perfecto y el simple past. Right. Y a veces nos podemos confundir cuando utilizamos uno o el otro. Por ejemplo, ¿qué debo de utilizar aquí? ¿Será que es este o será que es el otro? We're going to see that in just a minute. Who wants to help me to read this information? Volunteers, do I have volunteers today? No volunteers? Where are the volunteers? Oh, well. Okay, guys. So I'm going to read it. It says, use the present perfect to refer to events or repeated actions that continue into the present moment. For example, Gandhi has inspired people all over the world. It means that Gandhi inspired people for many years and his ideas in still inspire people now. Okay, entonces, we can say, podemos decir que el presente perfecto se refiere a eventos que empezaron en el pasado, right? Pero continúan uh, in the present moment. Tenemos que Gandhi, right, ha inspirado a muchas personas Pero a que aún, right, él inspira a la. Okay, what about the simple past? To refer to completed actions. Este, el simple past lo vamos a utilizar cuando ya la acción ya haya terminado. Gandhi promoted, right, non-violence against British. Okay, esto lo hizo when he was alive. Okay, no sé si hay dudas about the difference between the present perfect and the simple past. Este tiempo los dos ya los vimos. We study that a lot. No questions? No? Okay. So we have that the present perfect for an indefinite time, right? In the past. No existe un tiempo definido, right? for an indefinite time in the past. That is the present. We have, have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. Or no, I haven't. I've never eaten it. Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried several years ago. Or no, I haven't. I've never had it. 
Okay, we have that the simple pass for a specific event, right? For a specific actions too. Okay, no questions or yes. Repeat please uh, uh, the question. Have you had, have you ever had, which one? This one? Okay. Have you ever had green curry, right? Is it, it, it simply pass for a specific event in the, in the past? Okay, the simple past, oh, it, that is going to be, for example, did you eat uh, green curry, let's say. Did you eat green curry yesterday? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you? We use the when we are talking about the simple past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And have you ever had for that present perfect? As you can see, I add yesterday because it is an action that finished. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. No more questions, Mario, or something. Is there anything else okay. I can do for you? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Recordemos que, por ejemplo, en este we say, eh, ya comiste o ya probaste el green curry ayer, mm -hmm. el día de ayer, a diferencia de este. Uh, por ejemplo, ya probaste o ya comiste, ya has comido, right? Mm -hmm. Ya has comido el green curry, ya has mm -hmm. probado. So, yes, I have. Ya lo hice o ya lo intenté. Yes, o años anteriores. Ok, probablemente no lo va a hacer no more. Ok, no questions, guys. That is some ideas, right? Usualmente, una clave que sí les puede ayudar bastante, porque a veces nos podemos confundir, es cuando usted tiene, por ejemplo, eh, years ago, cuando tiene month o days ago también. Algunas expresiones que nos van a indicar. Si usted tiene esas que les he compartido, you have to use the simple past. Vamos a utilizar el simple past. ¿Ok? O oh, yesterday también. Yesterday. Mm -hmm. También tenemos last year, last month. Cuando usted ve estas expresiones, oh, yo, usted va a decir, voy a utilizar el simple past. O el did, right? O con el didn't, too. Ok. So, let's have a practice, right? Let's have this practice. Okay, vamos a hacerlo. Guys, if you have questions, this is the time, right, for you to practice and ask. Okay, let's do number one. What can be, tenemos el verbo, we have the verb, right? ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? What's going to be the structure that question? Who wants to try that out? Who wants to try it, guys? Have you? Mm -hmm. Have you? Have you ever? Have you ever? Y el verbo lo tengo sin right. ¿Cuál será la forma? What is the way? Sang. That's right. Have you ever sang right? In a karaoke bar. And the answer? O el complemento, Ryan. El complemento. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. That's right. And yes. I. Mm -hmm. Oh, what can I do? I think. Mm -hmm. I have it. I have. Mm -hmm. I yes, have. I have. I. Recordemos que dice 
que lo hizo en su cumpleaños, algo que ya terminó, right? Sería I. Mm. Mm. Uh -huh. Have. El verbo siempre es I sin. Y yes, sería entonces mm. en pasado sería san, right? Mm -hmm. okay, no nos olvidemos de este verbo. Sin, san, as far as people, que es son right. Entonces, estoy utilizando en el pasado sí. mismo. Hay san, in, one on my birthday, mm -hmm. el resto. In one on. The restaurant. No. Oh. Let's do number two. What about number two? Tenemos el verbo lose. Lose. ¿Cuál sería? ¿Cuál es, la, ¿Cuál es el verbo? Este es un verbo irregular, right? Irregular. Lock. Lost. Vamos a escribirlo Lost. acá. Para que solo lo comemos. Tenemos lose. Gente, en pasado sería post y el past participle sería los. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la pregunta? Have ever lost something? something. Ever. Valuable, right? Una vez has perdido algo valioso. Something valuable. Valuable. Okay, tenemos. And what is the answer? No. 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 I haven't. No, I haven't. Muy bien. No, I haven't. My but is it but? My brother. My brother. Lost. Lost, right? Lost. Is camera, right? Perdió. On a trip. On a trip. Muy bien. On a trip. Once. That's right. ¿Has perdido algo valioso? No. No lo he hecho. Pero mi hermano perdió su cámara, right? Y sí, estamos con el simple past. Let's do the number three. Go. Tenemos get, right? Entonces, vamos a escribir acá. We have get. Got. I think we have uh, got. Got. Yeah. And we have got. And then we have. What is the next oh. one? Got there. We have gotten, right? Yes. Got. Algunos utilizan got. También para referirse al past participle, pero. No le... something cultural to write. ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso? Gotten, gotten. 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 Uh -huh. O gotten también. Gotten. Las dos es también. Gotten o got también. Ok. También muchas personas utilizan this one como past participle. Got. Let's do the question. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la pregunta? El number three. Uh, have you? Have you? Ever. Ever. You ever got, got or gotten? Traffic. Uh -huh. Ticker. A traffic, right? A traffic ticket. Uh -huh. Yes. Then we have yes. You yes. can uh have. -huh. I have once. Uh -huh. Once. I got in. Got in. Mm, got in. No. Got. Got, right. Got. Once. I got. I got a ticket and had to play. You had to pay. To pay. It's $15. $15. $15. $15. Ok, there you have. Ok, si decimos el gotten, no podría, right? Porque ya pasó. Ya pasó that experience. Bueno, so, 
Okay. Let's move on to the last one, number four. Vamos a hacer la number four. What that one? Had you, see? Have you, have you, have you ever? Have you ever, muy bien. Seen? Seen. I live corner. Okay, a live. Ay, a live. Live concert. concert. Cuando usted dice, por ejemplo, yo vivo, vamos a decir, I live. I live. Usted dice algo que está en vivo, right? a veces pasa como Facebook Live. Entonces ahí vamos a decir live. I live. En este caso, como es un concierto en vivo, vamos a decir a live concert. I live concert. Ah, concert. Ok, then we have yes. Yes, I, I have, uh -huh. I have, um, no, I, ver. Tenemos last year, ahí nos está diciendo qué tiempo usa last year. Aquí no, I, aquí está, tenemos I, last year. I see, mm. es pasado, have. Y tenemos sí. So, sí. en sin, ¿cuál vamos a utilizar? Which one? En el pasado, las. Uh -huh. So. Yes, right. I no. So, you to write. At the stadium. Stadium, last, last year. Ok, yes, right. Ya tenemos las year, ahí me está indicando que va a ser el pasado, mm -hmm. right? Simple past. Ok, the last one. Let's do the last one. The last. Ok, recordémonos del verbo. El verbo es be. Be. El pasado. What is the past of be, guys? El pasado. Was. Was y qué más? Uno eh, más. Uno más me hace falta. ¿En cuál vamos? En el cinco. Yes, mm. number five. En el pasado me hace falta uno. Was y qué? ¿Cuál es el otro? Have you y where? Where. where. Okay. Ese es en pasado. Ahora el past participle. Been. 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 Okay. Vamos a hacer un review de estos, right? Son important. Ok, let's go with number five. Ok, what is the question? Huh? You have you uh -huh. ever 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 what uh, been uh -huh. been late for, late for an important um appointment appointment that's right what is the answer no I haven't no I haven't okay, no, I but my sister. But my sister. Uh, was. Mm -hmm. uh, Terry. Terry. Uh -huh. And. And for play for her wedding. For her wedding. Very good. Okay. You see. You can do it, guys. This is something to practice, right? Practice. That is the only way to do this. Okay, questions? No, teacher. Me gusta practicar así. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys. So, this is the time for you to speak right. Have to speak and practice. We have learned in this time. So, for that, we are going to <clears throat> ask these questions to your partners, right? Keep in mind the type of question you have. Okay, we have the first one. The first one. What did your parents for be you to do when you were a child? ¿Qué estructuras está utilizando? What is the structure we are using here? ¿Qué Tiempo. What is the time we are using here? The time for being 
What is forbid? What is forbid, by the way? Did. El pasado simple. El simple past. Muy bien. Ok. Entonces, no nos olvidemos de el verbo, right? Este es un verbo irregular. ¿Qué es lo que tus papás o tus te prohibieron, right? Cuando niño. You were a child. Cuando eras. Uh -huh. Ok, take care. Tengamos cuidado with the tense, right? With the structure. Utilicemos los the proper verbs. Okay, let's go to the breakout rooms and practice with your partner, right? Okay, let's go. No sé si hay dudas about the activity, guys. No. Okay, go. So. Let's go, Gloria, to
guys? Do you have questions about uh, anyone? Any question we have there? Um, pues ahorita vamos por la segunda teacher. Okay, tell me about what did your parents forbid you to do when you were a child. Esa ya la tenemos, right? Now tell me, please. Uh, Mario, uh, Mario, uh, dijo, uh, his parents mm -hmm. did, uh, went to the discotheque. Okay, went, si lo dejaban ir, right? Went to the discotheque. Uh -huh. Si lo dejaban ir, to the discotheque. No, eso, eso, le, eso le prohibieron. Okay, entonces, ¿cómo vamos a decir? Sus padres le prohibían. Ajá, sería... Entonces, His parents... Forbid. Forbid es el presente. ¿Cuál sería el pasado? Ah, ahí está. Uh -huh. Ajá, sí. Uh -huh. Te lo voy a escribir en el chat, ¿ok? Es, tenemos forbid... El, el presente, tenemos en pasado for bait, right? Y el past participle sería for bait. Se les escribo ahí. Sí. Okay. Sí. For bait. Okay, guys. We are not going to have time. It, 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 the, the, the verb. Okay, Go. yes. In the chat box. Uh, uh, ir. Uh, Se utilizaría en pasado. For be presente, right? En pasado, for bait. El segundo. Okay. El segundo. Mm -hmm. And the yeah. past participle, it is this one, right? Entonces sería. Uh, oh, perdón, me una idea más. Podría ser. There you have guys. I will have to say goodbye, guys. I have another class. Have a good night. See you guys. Okay.